Hey guys, Janice, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I prepare and organize myself for a new semester. I am using Notion as part of my organization system this semester. I will also be giving you a template that you can duplicate and put into your Notion workspace, and I'm gonna show you how to customize it and use it. Just a heads up that Notion is free for students and educators. I do have a sign up link in the description box below. So I'm gonna jump right into it. I've created a homepage or menu where I have access to a master schedule, which I'm going to show you later, as well as pages to each of my courses. Just for quick reference, I've also created a weekly overview of what my schedule looks like so I have all my courses for all the days of the week as well as where they're held. And honestly, the best part about Notion, aside from its organization, is actually the ability to incorporate emojis and then customize colors to make your workspace more unique. I'm going to head straight into the master schedule so we can take a look at what's in there. So this is where I put and organize every single important date, assignment, quiz, and exam for every single course. I made it so that it's also kind of like a to-do list so whenever something is done I can just check it off in the box to the left. You'll see in the left hand column that I have all my courses and these are actually organized as tags. On the right hand side, I have a similar thing going on, except this time I'm indicating whether it's a quiz or a discussion post, assignment, exam, or important date. So essentially, I have a list of everything that I need to do in the order that they're due. What's also neat is that I can actually filter the list so that I can see the tasks that are specific to one course. Not only that, but I've made it so that I can filter the list by exams or quizzes, assignments, and whatnot. This way, I'll basically only see what quizzes I have throughout the semester, and I won't see any of my assignments, just quizzes or exams. You can also view this list in a calendar format. I personally prefer the list format for viewing my assignments and quizzes just because I also have the tick box there to check off whenever it's done. So basically I go through the syllabus for each course at the beginning of the semester and using this list I fill in what is due, I set the date, and then I also tag it with the course name and what type of task it is. If you like you can also include the time but I've personally just been putting date. Because this list is organized by ascending date, whatever you put into the list will be ordered accordingly. So that's pretty much it for the master schedule. Now I'm going to bring you into one of the course pages to see what's in there. This course page is essentially just a way for me to have an overview of what topics we're covering in the course. It will also have the name of my instructor, their office hours, as well as their email. And if I'd like, I would also copy and paste the course syllabus into a sub page. I think this is useful if you just wanna keep track of what content you're going through in your courses and what's left to do. You might also find it useful and convenient to add a bookmark to your actual course page. So that is essentially how I've been using Notion for my semester. So I don't use Notion for taking notes like other people might do. I use it solely for planning and organization. And now finally, for the exciting part, I'm going to be showing you how to install the template that I've created for you and how to customize it so that it fits your needs. The link to the template is in the description box, so just copy and paste that link into your browser. On the top right corner of the page, you're going to have the option to duplicate the template. If you're not already logged into Notion, you're going to be prompted to log in. So this template is exactly identical to the one that I'm using. The template has six courses already made for you. If that's not enough, you can simply highlight over one of them. You will see these dots on the left side. Just click on that and then choose duplicate. You will be able to rename this as well and also choose a different emoji to represent it and change the color of the background. This also applies to the courses under the weekly schedule. To make this more unique, you probably want to change the degree name and also choose an emoji that best represents your degree. The course pages have already been laid out for you, so all you really have to do is just go in and change the topic names. This is going to look the same for every single course page. The part you will probably need to customize the most is the master schedule. I've added some sample items on the list already. I'm going to show you how to change the course tags and also the tags for the different tasks. It's very simple, just click on one of the tags. On the right side of the list of tags, you're going to see three dots. Click on that, right then and there, you'll be able to rename it and also change the color of it if you'd like. This process is identical for the task tags. 
If you want to create a new tag, all you have to do is actually just type up a new one and it'll be created when you press enter. So here is just another example of me typing in a task. You'll see how it automatically organizes itself by date. So on to customizing the filtered lists. I've created some for you already. You can choose to rename it if you wish. And yes, I know I call it a list, but it's actually really a table format. When you're filtering a list, you're choosing what you want it to show you based on the course tag or task tag that you choose. If you change the name of the tag, you must also edit the filter so that it changes accordingly. So as an example, I'm gonna rename course one to course A. Under this new list, click filter on the right side, click add filter, and you'll wanna change it so that the course contains a certain tag. This works exactly the same for the tasks, except instead of choosing the course contains so-and-so, you're gonna choose the task contains so-and-so. So the customization is really all up to you. You can choose to make as many filtered lists as you want. Last but not least, you can also choose to put a cover photo for your front page. However, I personally like the minimalistic look, so I chose not to do that. I also like to open Notion on my iPad or my phone. It syncs across devices, so it's very convenient and practical. That's pretty much it for how I'm organizing myself this semester. I'm always experimenting with new ways, but this one is very simple and also very fun to use. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content from me. I'll see you guys in my next video.